Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about why Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't have a YouTube channel. For someone as famous and influential as Ronaldo, you might wonder why he hasn't joined the platform to share content with his millions of fans. Cristiano Ronaldo recently launched his YouTube channel and set a world record for the fastest channel to reach 10 million subscribers, achieving this in just 12 hours. For context, the previous fastest was the channel Hamster Combat, which hit 10 million in 7 days. Incredible, right? At the time of recording this video, Cristiano's channel had already gained 20 million subscribers. However, it's important to note that Ronaldo isn't the only footballer with a YouTube channel. Players like Ben Foster, Sergio Aguero, and Vinicius Jr. have had their own YouTube platforms for a while. But when one of the greatest football players in the world joins the scene, it brings significant changes. Here are 5 reasons why Ronaldo's YouTube channel might be bad for football. Number 1. It signals the nearing end of his career. By creating a YouTube channel, Ronaldo could be hinting that he's already considering life after football. Many speculate that his retirement is not far off, especially with him turning 40 next year. While his physical condition is still impressive, his focus might be shifting to new ventures outside of football. Number 2. It's a distraction from football. Ronaldo's YouTube channel, with its massive and rapid success, highlights a shift in priorities for athletes. Nowadays, players can be more influential than the clubs they play for. For example, Ronaldo's channel gained 20 million subscribers in a single day, while Juventus has 8 million, Manchester United has 9 million, and Real Madrid has 15 million. This raises concerns that players might prioritize building their own brands over focusing on the game. Number 3. It might inspire younger players to follow suit. As one of the most influential figures for young athletes, Ronaldo's move into YouTube could encourage them to do the same. Instead of focusing solely on improving their game, they might start creating social media content, which could distract them from reaching their full potential on the pitch. Number 4. Football could lose focus to entertainment. There's a risk that fans might shift their attention from watching matches to following the off-field lives of players on platforms like YouTube. If that happens, football as a sport could suffer, with more focus on social media personalities than on actual sporting performance. Number 5. Ronaldo's YouTube might be a sign of his upcoming retirement. Launching this channel could mean that Ronaldo is preparing for his post-football life, which would be a massive loss for the sport. One of the greatest minds in football could be moving away from the game, either towards being a full-time content creator or focusing on business ventures. That could mean the end of dreams for many fans who hope to see Ronaldo continue in football. What do you think? Could Ronaldo's YouTube channel hurt football? Or is it not that serious? Let's discuss in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. See you in the next one.